Hey there friends, YouTubers. I am in Canada. A little part of Canada that's right off the coast of Maine is called Camp the Bello Island. And this was a retreat for the Roosevelt family. And it's faithfully preserved, even though we had to cross over the border to Canada. Beautiful place. And of course it's a beautiful day. This is gorgeous. I got the dog, so I can't go into the house at the moment. But we can go inside and you can have tea with Eleanor. There's Murph. Crazy man that he is. And this is called a cabin. <laughs> this isn't the house, this is just their seasonal retreat. It's fantastic looking. And of course, it has some amazing views, I'm sure. There you go. Look at that. I guess if you're the President of the United States, if you're a Roosevelt, you get this private bit of paradise in another country, because this is actually Canada. That's America over there, or USA, I should say, of course. And that's the home from the lake. Holy smokes. Look at that, beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna get myself a nice, uh, from the lakes as I, that's, uh, Bay of Fundy, I do believe. North Atlantic. We just came through Lubeck to get to Campobello, and Lubeck is the, the very most easternmost point in the United States. Next stop, Iceland, Ireland, Britain, and Europe. And just one more view of the place from this nice, cool, shady spot I found for myself. Yeah, it's stunning. And lovely view, what a view. So the house, of course, is, is worth seeing. And of course, probably back then, they didn't think much of it. Well, I mean, if you've if you been down to uh, Newport, Rhode Island, and I've seen the big houses down there, Vanderbilt, some uh, Rockefellers and all of those, but I mean those are amazing mansions. Um, but this is charming. This is this is more American looking. Um, fantastic. Jesus, hopefully he's getting tired. He's driving me friggin' nuts. Sorry for the shake, and I seem to walk pretty heavy. Take a tumble. I did work last night, so I worked until the early hours. I got home, and I just drove five hours straight to get here. So, I don't know, it's more than 24 hours anyway since I was in bed. But this is worth it, it's beautiful catch up tonight. This is my first day. I got a week off. So, oh, bloody dog. It's a cute little boat. I'm just going to walk down to the little bridge I see here down here. Yeah, it's warm, <laughs> but it's nice. It's not too humid. Uh, we get a lot of humidity up here in the northeast coast. 
uh, which might surprise people. Very, very cold winters, quite harsh. And then some really beautiful summers, but they can be quite humid. Watch out for the mosquitoes, watch out for the black flies. Um, particularly the, the black flies, the more northerly you go, they will just dive bomb you to hell. You just can't survive them. Oh, that's a Vista opening up there. I'm just using my iPhone. It's not even a new iPhone, it's one of the older ones. So I'm sure the, it doesn't do justice to the scenery, the panorama that I, has just opened up in front of me. That is stunning. It's hard to do this walking on uneven ground and with this pup pulling me everywhere each way. So that's down to a beach by the looks of it. And then around and around and around. Very beautiful. I'm guessing that's Lubeck over there. I don't actually know for sure. Um, I haven't really got my bearings yet. We just really just got here. That's a lovely little beach down there. I don't know if it can be seen from here. I could zoom, but one hand is holding a pup and the other is holding the camera. I'm getting tired actually. Let me turn it off for a second so I can regroup. There we go. He's driving me cuckoo. So there we are, all the way back up to the house. There's probably going to be wind. I apologize if you can't hear me properly. There, it is pretty mild. There's almost no breeze, but you never know. So there's a little little bridge out. And it seems there's some sort of seating area here. Or at least a viewing area. So let's go view from there. It's gorgeous though. You know, I live by the coast. <laughs> That's funny, I live. But when we go to our beach in our little town, we are looking straight at the Atlantic. There is nothing, nothing uh, across the water. It is just wa water. Well, I guess some examples of... There we go. That's the sound I want to hear. Tags down, obviously. Ah, oh, that dog be the death of me. I'm not sure that he's actually legally here. We came through customs. And uh, I spoke to the lovely Canadian customs officer. Uh, she's cute too, actually. Anyway, we gave passports and all of that, but uh, I don't know that she saw the dog and she certainly didn't make mention of it. She asked if we bring anything to sell, any firearms, all of that usual stuff. She didn't see the dog, so she didn't ask about him. Anyway, uh, yeah, there it is. Pretty view. I like this. I like lake views because you can see the other side. You know, especially with lake views that have drama. And so the view in my town is just like literally straight out to sea. There's nothing out there except water and more water. It's a beautiful town, lovely beach. We have a great place. But I like this. This is shoreline, obviously for the very wealthy. So I'd have a place here. Yeah, yeah, I, I could, I could live here. It's a nice beach. Um, but they have a furniture next door. There we go. So they were showing property, they had a furniture next door. Later on, this time this is probably a different family. Oh, nice, nice. Ooh. And when Mrs. King passes away, the hat of Which one? Franklin Delano? Franklin Delano Roosevelt. 
and pipe. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he was a music lover, this Roosevelt dude. I think I recognize that head. That's a good head. Opportunities. Oh, little fireplace. Traditional dresser. Ooh. <laughs> There's the view from the the main room. Ah, there's Murphy. Right. So this is how a president, and even before he was president, this was in the Roosevelt family for many years. They would come up here and spy on their neighbors. Oh, home music, piano. The gay 90s. Holy crap, I remember the gay 90s. Don't recall them being so gay. The dining room. Really? Oh, that lovely cut glass. See, there's a half door open over there now. See it? Pretty nifty. Keep cool, especially that lovely sea breeze. And the pantry of some sort. Kitchen, I guess. Butler's room. Okay, thank you. A pantry. Where is the kitchen? I'm going to give you a pass on that. Oh, okay. Boyle is his next to stowage. <laughs> but I the stove it. itself oh, was a it. gift to Franklin from his mom, Sarah, in 1933, the year he became president. He came here to visit in 33 and he came. That's what he got. Love it. <laughs> yeah. He's going president. Not one of them. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Then I knew Franklin just because I was like, It's pretty sweet. It's a beautiful day. Holy smokes, it's a 